All right, Shalom. This is brother from GMS or calling came back from another video. Before we go any further, we all praise honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone for teaching us warm saying truth according to the Bible rule well and peace and blessings to the flight of the nation of Israel. Take through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. I'm going to get into a Lord's will and edifying lesson. You know, sitting around this Hosea. The fifth chapter, starting at the 15th verse, you know, let's read it. You know, Lord's will in this lesson is edifying. This is Hosea 1, Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. And it reads, I will go and return to my place to they acknowledge their offense and seek my face and their affliction. They will seek me early. I'm reading it again. It says, I will go and return to my place. It's talking about the Heavenly Father. You see, because Israel ultimately, you know, we as a nation, we went astray. You see? And now it says, till they acknowledge their offense. Now, Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, uh, now via through, via Yahweh Shai, we have a way back. You see, and we see the remnant of Yahweh by Shema Shai waking up. And what are they doing? They're acknowledging their, their offense. They're acknowledging. Where they went off to, they're acknowledging their trespass. You see, just as, uh, just as when King David sinned against Yahweh by Shema Shai. Let's get that. Uh, what is that? Psalms fifty-one. Um, and ten. Uh, this is a uh, Psalms. Well, actually, I look at the Psalms. You know, David acknowledged his uh, offense. But I want to get this Psalm, not Psalms 51. I want to get Psalms uh, 32. Yep. This is Psalms 32. And one, it says, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. How are your sins, how, are your, how would your sins be covered and your transgressions be forgiven by you believing? And who the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Blessed is the man in whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, in whose spirit there is no guile. Let's jump uh, down to verse 5. I, I acknowledge my sin unto thee. So that's what Yahweh by Shema Shai requires. You know, this is a psalm of David, and David was a man after the heart of Yahweh by Shema Shai, which would be his mind. You see, I acknowledge my sin unto thee and my iniquity have i not hid i will confess my transgressions unto the lord and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin you know ultimately the lord he knows when uh our people are doing evil upon the earth he knows when they're doing wickedness you see but you uh confessing your sin see how by shema washai that shows remorse. That shows um, Yahweh by Shema Shai that you uh, that you actually want to uh, do better. You see, and, and that's what Yahweh by Shema Shai delights in. This is a uh, Psalms chapter <coughs> Psalms thirty four and eighteen. It says, "The Lord is nigh unto them that have a broken heart." And save if such that be of a contrite spirit, you see, in the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai wants you to humble yourself as a child. You see, when you know, for when you were a child, you know, or you know, or you know, brothers who have children, you know, what's something uh you know known, you know, when the when your kid or when you were a kid and you did something bad in school, what your your mom she might pick you up. She says, "Well, tell your, uh, well, you know, tell your dad what you did, or the school, you know, call on me out by Shemoshai, uh, 144. But um, you know, you will have, you, you will have to confess your faults before your parents, and that's a sign of you humbling yourself. You see, and showing remorse. You see, because those who are proud are not going to confess their faults. Those who are proud." Don't think that they have done anything wrong. And the Lord is not drawing nigh unto someone who is in that spirit. It says, The Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, is nigh unto them that have a broken heart. 
you see, and save if such that I be of a contrite spirit. So that's what the Yahweh by Shema Shai requires of us. He's waiting for us to acknowledge our our offense. You see, we went off. You see, Hosea 5.15, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. What's the face of Yahweh by Shema Shai is ultimately this word. You see, the face of Yahweh by Shema Shai, his reflection is shown forth through this wisdom that we have. You see, we have all the things uh, needful for us to know to please the Lord. You know, let's get some uh, precepts on that. You know, let me get, uh, what is that, Sirach, uh 34. You know, I wish, uh, you know, that was a little better turn right there, but uh, let me get Sirach. I believe it's 34 or 33. Um, I think it's 33. Um, there is no evil, not that. Nope. Yep, yep, this is it. Sirach 35. Shai. This is uh, Sirach 35 and 3. And it reads to depart from wickedness. So to leave off from wickedness, you see, that's you seeking Yahweh by Shema Shai's face because we know that the face of the Lord, this wisdom, you know, scriptures talk about how it's a pure influence, you know, that the words of the Most High are pure words. So we're looking to be holy, separated from the filth and the pollution that this world has to offer. Scriptures also talk about how, um, you know, how can a man cleanse his ways by taking heed thereto according to thy word? You know, so this word, you know, cleanses you. It purifies you. It says to depart from evil, to depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to the Lord. And to forsake unrighteousness is a pro, a propitiation, you know, which is basically a sacrifice. This is back in Hosea 5 and 15, and it reads, To they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. You know, and also, the way you seek Yahweh by Shema Shai's face is by the men, you know, starting with our apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, are who have the truth. But you have to be taught this truth, you know. The Lord just uh, isn't going to, uh, uh, you have to be taught how to please the Lord, you see. Because all our lives we thought we knew how to please the Lord. And that's why he sent uh, 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 men, you know, to teach us his ways. This is Sirach, chapter 17, verse 24. But unto them that repent, he grants them return. You know, and for you to repent, you know, is a change. You know, you have to make a change for you to repent. And you have to be, show uh, remorse, you know. And that, re that remorse that you feel is going to uh, move you in the spirit to change. Change your life. You know, change how you conduct yourself around people. Change how you uh, change what you eat. You know, change uh, who who you're around. You see, change uh, the type of habits you have. You know, ultimately, you know that's going to be the change. Us being born again, becoming those new creatures. You know, it it, it starts by us taking heed to the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. It says, but unto them that repent, He granteth them. Return. So now, you know, now is the time. Because this lesson is going to be tied up a little, uh, too little, too late. You see, so those that repent now, he granted those, them return. And comfort those that failed in patience. You see, how by Shema Shai is comforting us was once again via the Holy uh, Spirit, which has been given to pass uh, through Yahweh Shai, you know, from the heavens. Verse 25, return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. And when you pray to Yahweh by Shema Shai, you're going to conf uh, confess your faults and you're going to ask the Lord for forgiveness. You see? And offend less because we're striving for perfection. You see? We're not going to get it uh, perfectly. It tells you in Judges the fifth chapter that we are going to rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh by Shema Shai, but the Lord is looking at your, uh, you know, brother, uh, one of the elders out there in the LA camp that went to lesson, uh, the word sincere. 
sincere goes into the word being pure. So the Lord is dealing with those who are of a pure intent when it comes to serving him, you know? Even though uh, you might fall short sometimes. Verse 26. Turn again to the Most High, but the Lord requires change as well. You see? You got to put your best foot forward. It says, turn again to the Most High. Meaning, once again, repent. You know, because we went astray. Now it's time to seek the Lord's face. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. <laughs> Which is sin upon sin, committing adultery, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, you know, taking part in the uh, the alphabet community. You see, uh, 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 committing adultery, which is sleeping with the next man's woman. You know, uh, you have all these uh, pagan holidays, uh, Christmas. You know, the things that are promoted in this world. You know, well, those things are uh, hated by Yahweh by Shema and Shai, and we're supposed to forsake those things. You know. And learn to do good. And it reads, For he would lead thee out of darkness into the light of health. You see, in that light, which is Yahweh Shai, our light is shining in this darkness, you know, and we're following the light, you know, wheresoever it goeth, you know, to the best of our abilities that we may enter into life. You see, we're on that straight and narrow path that leadeth on to life. It says, for he will lead thee out of darkness, you know, because we were in the dark before we uh, woke up to what the truth is. We were asleep. We were in darkness, you see, into the light of health. And don't let this world, uh, word health, it goes back into whole, you know. So the Lord, like I told you in Matthew, I believe it's the ninth chapter. The Lord came not to save the righteous. But to save the sinners, you know, they that behold need not physician, but they that are sick. I came not to give a, a repentance or salvation unto the righteous, but unto the sinners. You see, in the sinners, which we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of Yahweh by Shema Shai, are going to acknowledge their offense, you know, and show humility and humbleness in these last days before a, all hell breaks loose. And hate thou abominations vehemently, vehemently, you know, basically means passionately, with a zeal. We're supposed to fear Yahweh by Shema Shai and keep his commandments and hate the evil way. You know, you're supposed to hate that old man that you were, and you're supposed to hate uh, the wickedness that's being promoted across the four corners of the earth. You see? Slack room to this fuckers. And it reads. Hosea 5 and 15, and it reads, And their affliction, they will seek me early. You see? But now is the time. Early is too late. You see? When all hell breaks loose, you know, then our people are going to want to seek the Lord. You know? But the scripture says, uh, 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 which, we're, let's get it, you know. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1 will close out on this. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So now is the time to seek your creator. Seek Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know? You know, before the evil days, before the time of Jacob's trouble, and the time of Jacob's trouble is fastly approaching. And as a more a believer start, you know, uh, waking up to the truth that's that means we're even closer uh, than when we believe you see the lord's one of the lessons other fine titles lessons gonna be a little uh too little too late you know with that i want to say the wali yabashimah for allowing me to do this lesson shalom